What's up guys, Nick here, and welcome back to more Splatoon 2 single player. In the last episode, we did a couple of stages in the suction cup lookout, and um, now hopefully we're going to finish things off with suction cup lookout and defeat the boss. So um, in the last episode, I got uh, this last level here, found it in the hub world, and um, now we're going to be playing it. And it looks like, do we have a new weapon? Yes we do, okay, so we got the hero charger here. And um, off screen I actually couldn't really help myself, but I uh, got the other uh, entrances to the, uh, to the other levels. So we're just going to be super jumping from them so that we don't have to waste any time or anything. So uh, right here we got uh, the hero charger and what's new about it is that you can actually use it as a hook shot to uh, those little buoy things, which is pretty cool. Um, also another thing that I like to mention is that you can actually hold your charge uh, when you're uh, swimming, which is pretty cool, but I already showed that off in uh, the test fire and also the... Uh, Actually, I didn't get to show it off in, um... Alright, let me fix the camera. I didn't get to show it off in, uh, Splatfest because... Um, I didn't really play as it in Splatfest. All I did was the Splat Duelies and the, uh... I think I actually did the roller. And also the, uh... Splatter Shop, but I just don't really like the Chargers, to be honest. But, you know, I've been getting, uh a bit better with them. I guess the reason I'm so bad with them is because my aim is really bad, so I'm never able to uh, beat any enemies that are like, or opponents I guess, that are just moving around and stuff. Alright, so in order to defeat these blimp guys, you have to hit them on the top there. Alright, surprisingly we're not able to uh, hit this guy yet, or can we? Okay, we actually can. Alright, how do I get across here? Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, so these guys actually do spread out ink from the back of them. I guess that's what's propelling them forward. So, yeah. Alright, is there anything special here? No? Okay. Just making sure. See, so, yeah, I actually did uh, upgrade the uh, hero shot off screen also. With the uh, orbs and the uh, other collectible that I had um, off screen. And so, talking about the other collectible, we got one right there. Still no name of it, but, um... Let's just go with Little Fishy, or Goldfish, maybe. <laughs> Smack that smiles back. Now, how do I get up there? Is there a hook? Oh, there it is. Okay. I keep forgetting about the hooks now, because they're, like, completely new. Alright, so we're getting closer to the end, I think. Alright, really? I couldn't dodge those by going in squid form? Alright, how did I get hit the first time then? Alright, so right there I got the Stingray, and actually, I think the Stingray, even though I said it was like one of the worst specials, um, I kind of agree with that with, um, I guess Turf War, and, um, but I feel like it's pretty good for like tower control, because it can go through that little tower, and, um, you can also go, uh, like, through the little pole and also the tower itself. So, um, 
in that case it can be useful. Um, it's also really good for uh, Stamina Run because in Stamina Run you can uh, use it to basically kill any enemy. It doesn't matter uh, who they are. You can kill them no matter what. It, even if they have like, even if their weak point isn't like exposed, you can still be able to uh, attack it by uh, just, I guess, piercing through its defense with uh, just a stingray. So that's basically what it does. The stingray just goes through everything and attacks. All right. So I wonder if the uh, these hook things, if you can actually use them in uh, with other weapons. I mean, probably because the uh, the level wouldn't be beatable without the other weapons. But maybe they changed it. Alright, I can't reach that. Anything here? Nope. Okay. Alright, so this level is actually pretty difficult. Even though it's a 6 1. And of course I miss. Really, again? See, I told. My, my aim is really bad, I'm telling you. Wow, okay, I still miss. Still miss. <laughs> there we go. Okay, finally got it. Alright, so that was actually... I guess it wasn't difficult, like, enemy-wise, but... Like, platforming-wise, I guess, or hookshot-wise, it was a bit difficult. And I guess I like the challenge, though. Alright, so we got one of the collectibles... So now we can use the hero shot. It's probably telling us. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna switch weapons. Yeah, Marie's right. Cause uh my level two splash shot is more like uh our hero shot is more like a splatter shot, but as powerful as a fifty two gal deco, because that's what I thought it was before. Um anyway, I guess we'll do them in order now. So let's go to the fourth one here. Which uh, has those roller things where you have these little, I guess, cylinder things. But really, really, right when I want to use my weapon that's level 2, I have to use a different weapon. But okay, we got the hero roller here. And um, looks like the carbon roller, not the roller. Yeah, I think it's the carbon roller, not the splat roller. Alright, so yeah, we have these, like, little cylinder things. I don't know how they make ink. But, um... Yeah, for some reason they do, and... You just hit them forward, and they... Make a line of ink. And also another cool thing with the roller is that... You can actually do a, uh... A vertical shot now. Instead of, a uh, Horizontal. I mean, you can still do a horizontal shot, but now the roller has a bit more range, I guess. And again, I showed that off, though, in the uh, test fire and also the splat fest. So, no new stuff yet. Alright, seriously, they just jump over my roller and then hit me. Great. Alright, what was that? Okay armor. I'll take that. I've actually seen people with the armor. I think they're people that got the game early and played it. Um, I guess after you beat the game, you get the uh, hero armor, just like in the first game. Alright, so we're doing pretty good so far. Haven't died yet. Yeah, I mean, most of the single player levels are kind of easy, but I guess they prepare you for the multiplayer. Which, I guess most people don't really play the single player, and they play the multiplayer instead, and then they suck, and then they go on my team, and then I lose. 
That's usually what happens. Because not only in Splatoon 1 does my team suck, but here in Splatoon 2, my team still sucks. <laughs> and it's really annoying. Like, I'm trying to do rank battles, and you know, you gotta start all over at C minus, so really annoying. And you got these people that are bad, and then you have these people that are good on the other team. And like, I was pretty decent at. Uh, ranked battles. I was almost A plus, so pretty decent. But yet, for some reason, my team just drags me down because they're not as good as me. Because they probably either didn't own the first game or they just never played ranked battles. And to be honest, I didn't really play ranked battles that much either. But I still was pretty good and I did get myself to uh, a plus in the end ah, I got me that splat bomb alright I got low ink I really hate low ink it's so annoying like, there were so many times that, like, when I was playing the, uh, multiplayer, where I just kept, uh, dying, and, like, I was about to kill someone, but then I was at low ink, so then I wasn't able to kill that person, and he got away, or he killed me instead. And it's just so annoying. Like, it happens at the worst moment, usually, when you run out of ink. And it's just so annoying. Alright. So we got that one, and now we unlock the hero roller. So another weapon added to our arsenal. Okay. So, what level are we missing? Level 8? Okay. So right on top of the boss level. Alright, so there's a Sheldon's request, and that means we're unlocking another weapon. Or maybe we're actually using, uh same weapon. We'll see. Okay, we're actually using the hero shot this time. Which I wanted to use before, but they forced me to use the, uh, what's it called? The hero roller before. It looks like, is there anything secret here? No. Just if you mess up, I guess. Alright, so these rolling things are kind of like the, uh, They're kind of like the uh, rollers, I guess. Except they just roll out automatically and very quick, too. Alright, is that collectible or is that just orbs? It looks like just orbs. Yep, alright. I'll take it anyway. I still don't... Like, these hidden items are actually pretty hidden. I think there's one here, but... Okay, no, it's armor. Okay, I guess we have to... Yeah, we have to worry about the uh, sprinklers here, because... If they get too much turf, then... I guess it'll push back faster. Alright, so that worked out. And for some reason they rolled backwards too, so even though it's facing the other way and you're shooting it the other way, for some reason you still uh it still shoots the way it's facing. Which doesn't really make any sense, but you know it's a platoon, so yeah. Oh, come on. What the heck happened there? There we go. Alright, so these ones you have to, I guess, continue shooting. Alright, so at least we got one of the collectibles here. But I guess the level's still not over yet. 
we're not even at the final checkpoint, so there still might be more to see here. And I think I found it. Is it over here? Yep, okay. So, so finally we got a level th that we uh, 100% completed, I think. So, that's good. Maybe not orb-wise, but collectible-wise, we got the, uh, 100%. Alright, let's just check over here, get some orbs or stuff. Or actually just kill all these guys. It's actually a better way to, uh, attack the enemies, I guess. And the way you were supposed to go, I guess. Alright, so right here we got a cannon system. Which is actually, I think, yeah, these cannons are actually in uh, Salmon Run too, which is pretty cool. So, some of the uh, single player uh, aspects are actually in uh, Salmon Run too, which is pretty cool. I like that. Alright, so there we go. Got the last zap fish in the area. And now we're going to be heading to the boss. And uh, talking about the boss, though, um, I don't know if I unlocked a weapon when I defeated the boss. I think I might have. I don't really know. I think I might. It might have been the Technic Splatter Shot, or maybe I already had that. I don't really know. But um, I know in the first game that every time you beat a boss, you would get a uh, a new weapon, and it was usually a custom weapon, like in the last game. Uh, when you beat the first boss, you got the uh, custom Splatter Shot Junior. But um, here, I don't know if I actually got one. I think maybe maybe it was the Technic Splatter Shot, and because I don't remember buying it from the store, but I don't really remember Sheldon talking about it. Maybe it already came with it, like it came with the game, but I don't think that's possible either. So maybe it was from the uh, first boss. I mean, I guess I'll find out after uh, this boss here. I'll even show it on camera to see if uh, I actually got something. All right, so we got Octo Samurai here, which you probably also saw from the uh, the uh, single-player campaign. And uh, by the way, you actually have to. Uh, level up each uh, weapon I saw so it's not just a level up for everything it's you actually have to do it for each individual weapon which is kind of annoying but I guess more stuff to do alright so this guy looks like he's almost dead and there we go alright so I'm guessing that's Phase one of three, like most bosses. See, so, yep, there he goes. First phase, now we're going to second phase. See, I don't really got why this guy has a unicycle at first, but yeah, he still does. And it's kind of weird. Maybe if he had like a motorcycle or something, it would have been a lot more better or maybe he does like he comes back he wants his revenge and um he gets like a motorcycle or something all right so there we go got him a second time and now we're on to his third phase So what does he do, do differently? Anything? Okay, this time his roller is actually spinning, I guess. I don't know. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay, you can actually make very large vertical lines of uh, ink.
All right, is he gonna attack me or what? And there we go, he should be dead now. And we did it, nice. So yeah, I might actually uh, level up my ink tank, in ink tank instead because that affects everything. It affects all weapons instead of having to upgrade each individual weapon. Alright, so yeah, all we get from that, we don't even get a sunken scroll from that. In the last game, we got a sunken scroll, and then that sunken scroll, you would show Sheldon to get a new weapon. Alright, so we got more uh, cutscenes, I guess. Phew, that was kind of insane. Great work, Agent 4. Maybe it's just me, but the Octarian boss bases feel like they've been given a feline touch. Maybe they got a new... Detector, bruh, Lee, no, huh? This radio's on the fritz. I swear I just changed the batteries in the same. Actually, uh, who cares what you say, Sheldon? All right, and yeah, that was actually uh, someone you might have recognized, uh, who interrupted our radio transmission. Alright, so now we're gonna go on to the third world. I might do the same thing that I did off screen, which was get all the uh, levels. Alright, so we're going to Beaker's Deport. Or Depot. Or Depot. <laughs> if you want to be technical, I guess. Okay, wow, we got some sprinklers here. And we also have some hook shots. And we have six levels, it looks like. It says save six more zapfish. So I might either do this off screen, but it looks pretty cool that I might actually. Oh, we even have some grind reels too. Um, but yeah, it looks really cool that I might actually do it um, in the next video. So um, yeah, maybe I'll do them all in one go. Just as my like my intro or something. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Splatoon 2 right here on Town Nick. Bye.